Pat McGrath mini eyeshadow palette in Sublime Smoke. I have been wanting to try a lot of Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. Finally bit the bullet during the Sephora sale. Before we get into the demo, we are gonna go see some swatches. We are going to start with the number two shade and this is called Taboo. I'm using my Ruffer 01 brush. Wow, this applies so pigmented. I'm going to take a cleaner brush and then just diffuse this part right here. Now I'm trying the sixth shade, which is called Mahogany. Oh, just kidding. Extreme Mahogany. I have a refer number 13 here. I'm going to apply this in the outer corner of my eyes and probably the inner corner. Wow, this shade is really nice. It's Mahogany, but it's actually not that reddish that I thought it was going to be or reddish plummy. I'm feeling my eyeball socket here and applying that shade in there like socket to me thank you i think i am going to do a halo eye so i'm gonna apply that in the inner corner as well i really like this mahogany shade this is really nice i'm gonna try the number four shade which is called extreme dusk i think i'm just gonna apply it closely to the lash line here and I'm using this brush. This is from Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes. And it has the smallest pencil brush like. So I'm going to use this. I'm actually bringing it up a little bit right here. So it's like on the very outer part of the eye. And then I'm taking this brush again with the mahogany shade. I'm not adding anymore. Just blending it together. And I'm taking this brush, the one with the warmer matte shade, and then just adding it at the top so that it's peeking out again. I'm going to use this shade, which is called Bronze Blaze. This is the Flat Definer Brush by Sonia G. Oh gosh. Ooh, that is pigmented. I'm going to apply this right here. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. In the inner part where I left that area free and clear. Okay, we have tried that with the brush and that is how it looks like. Now I wanna try the finger because we know the finger is magic. Now I wanna use the number three shade which is called Bronze Eclipse. Should I try it like in the middle? Okay, let's just do it. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but I did put it right in the center of the gold. So there's like a gradient of that. I think you can tell this one is popping more. I like that. Finally, we're gonna try the lightest shade, the highlight shade. This is called Skin Show Divine Glow. I actually really love how the names are written on the back. It's just so awesome because I wanna know what the names are. Girl, that is some glow, seriously. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna use this darkest color and then just apply it right here and then right here and then i'm gonna apply the gold and then finally this shade for the super center super center walmart super center
Now I'm just applying my eyeliner. I am using the M Cosmetics a brush tip eyeliner. I used to think I didn't like brush tips, but I think it just applies eyeliner the best. House of Lashes Lash Story. This is such a cute case because you can put five pairs and all your tools right here. I am using the Serene one, which I'm already putting some glue in there. I especially love using this style for halo eyes just like this. It's so pretty. Okay, now that the eyes are done, ooh, I am loving how this looks. This is so sultry, bronzy, and just so beautiful. I think for the lips, I'm gonna go for a dark shade. I really, really want to try this Rare Beauty Matte Lipstick. This is the Ambition shade. This was uh, in one of their holiday collections. Cole still had him from the savings event sale from Sephora, Sephora Kohl's. And yeah, I just really wanted to try this. We are finished, we are done, and this is the result. I am absolutely in love with this mini palette not only is it cute the quality is out of this world and i can take this anywhere now do i recommend this palette this is an obvious yes you can see my excitement and i think this is such a great little palette for someone who is new to pat mcgrath and that is me i'm very new to pat mcgrath i recently tried her Mothership 10, The Moonlit Seduction, and I freaking love it. And I'm saying it that way because it's so expensive. And I'm really afraid of the Pat McGrath obsession that I might be going into. I posted a poll on my community tab. Thank you to Sheila Arvalo for recommending Pat McGrath to me. I would not have tried it at all if it wasn't for you. I think it's so awesome how one person can make a difference. All right, it's your turn, let's talk. Have you tried the Sublime Smoke? And have you tried the one previous to that one? What do you think of Pat McGrath eyeshadows in general? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you're interested to watch more videos on my channel, check out this video right here. This is the Odin's Eye C Talk palette. I will see you there and don't forget, have a beautiful and wonderful day.